so hello and welcome back to the new video of the postman tutorial series uh, so in our previous video we have seen uh, put patch and delete uh, methods that we can uh, do in our postman and now in this video we will be seeing uh, what are the what is query parameters in postman right so uh, before that before we see in the actual implementation let's understand what are what actually the query parameters are and then we will uh, go in postman and we'll try to understand uh, query parameters using one dummy api right okay so we go here and see uh, for the first point is saying optional key value pairs that appear after uh, question mark in url right so anything that you see in your uh, url after uh, question mark is your query parameters right and the question mark separate the path and the query parameter so uh, what is the separator that separates the query parameters with the path is the question mark right so it is used to use for mainly filtering of the resources okay so uh, let's suppose uh, there are 100 100 files that is being returned by the uh, server and now uh, from that 100 files uh, you just want uh, the first 10 files so in that case you can apply the uh, query parameters in your, your url and so that you will get the only uh, first 10 parameter uh, first 10 uh, files from the return file from the server right so uh, these are some use cases where you can use the query parameters to filter out the resources that you are getting from the server okay so multiple query parameters are separated by uh, and between them okay so this is an and sign in programming okay so uh, the, the so the multiple if you uh, if you want to implement the multiple query parameters uh, in your url then in that case you you should separate them using an and sign between them okay so uh, i will show you an example if you see here https colon double double slash example dot com slash books it is our uh, this is our uh, url and after that you we have one question mark sign and after that whatever we write is the query parameters right so after question mark i have written author is equal to en id okay so what will be my author author is will be my key and uh, en id will be my value so this is this is a key value pair format of writing the query parameters and as i told you uh, multi if you are having the multiple key uh, multiple query parameters then in that case you can separate them by and sign so i have written the and limit is equal to 100 okay so what i am what am i telling uh, to uh, through this url is go to example.com slash books and there uh, filter those resources uh, which are located at the books and on, on the basis of the author author which having enid as the string and after filtering getting that uh, resources get, limit the 100 that means return me the first 100 uh, resources from uh, that en entire authors author which having the enid as the string right so uh, let's suppose we have 500 authors uh, whose string matches with the enid then in that case uh, by uh, writing the limit uh, qu query parameter the, the api will return us the first 100 uh, resources from that uh, result right so this is uh, how we uh, this is what query parameter is in in your url uh, so let 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 us go ahead and see one api and we try to implement uh, and we'll see how query parameters actually work right so let me get into my postman okay so this is our previous video api okay so, so let me just save the changes okay okay you know what uh, i don't want to save that okay so the api that i will be using here is a uh, swagger ui's api book, uh, bookstore api so if you head over this uh, bookstore.demo qa.com slash swagger and then slash bookstore slash bookstore v1 book get then in that case you will be finding this bookstore api uh, which uh, which way which is well formatted uh, documented as well so for this uh, you just go come here inside the bookstore get method is there book slash bookstore slash v1 slash book okay so this uh, resource uh, have one query parameter required one query parameter you can see star uh, repellent is required so which uh, which requires an isbn as a query parameters so you, you have to pass this query parameter in order to uh, hit this URL 
okay so let me just go ahead and let me just go ahead and try it out okay and uh, we will go and try this out okay so let me just go ahead and copy this uh, this one from here okay wait a minute uh, we go here and let me just copy my uh, endpoint that is this one as it is I go into my postman I click on the plus sign I paste that uh, URL and since this is a also a get request here you can see get request uh, get method and then in that case uh, after that what they have instructed us slash bookstore slash v1 uh, slash book so as same we have to write it down over here let me just write it down here bookstore slash slash v1 slash book okay so this is my url and as here you can see it requires one uh, isbn string as the query parameter so how we write our query parameter as we have seen to write our query parameter uh, if you just go here you can see we have to separate it with the question mark sign i will write question mark and then in that case uh, what will be the my yes here is isbn is my required parameter that query parameter that i have to pass i will just go here and okay just a minute okay so the required parameter is isbn I will write isbn and since it is a string a uh, string so I can pass the value like this one uh, let me pass it uh, the, just a random string first uh, we will see what we get from this query let me hit send request over here and when I hit send the requesting is being sent over the network to this bookstore.demoqa.com uh, just wait for the response from the server okay since since I given the random string as a ISBN so it should give me error uh, because uh, there cannot be any this CCS value will be there right so in that case we should get one error okay let it be uh, we'll go here and just uh, before that uh, first of all let's call this one uh, itself and we'll get some books I ISBN number then we'll try this this one as well uh, okay so just uh, wait a minute let me just copy this out okay and just cancel this and just send this request to this api okay okay it's taking a lot of time to process i guess okay wait guys okay i will pause pause the video here okay, once the request get completed i will resume my video right okay so guys here you can see uh, when, when I uh, the doesn't pass any query parameters I just uh, write uh, v1 slash books and then hit I, when I hit send then in that case you would see all those books which uh, get listed over here and now we will see uh, we will pass one query parameters uh, which is ISBN query parameter let me just copy out this uh, ISBN number from here and I will just go here and write uh, question marks uh, so my uh, key uh, key is ISBN and my value is what I copied from here and uh, now if I hit send you should see only the book uh, that that contains that ISBN numbers get a uh, return okay so this is how uh, it works okay so query parameters are working and uh, if you want to write the multiple query parameters you just have to mention and in after after the either after the first query parameter and you can give that as well okay so if i write author author is equals to and if i uh, just 
copied out this author name from here and paste it over here itself and just, just hit I, when I hit send you can see a uh, author whose content this Richard E uh, Silverman gets written by the server so this is how uh, the query parameter query parameters are work uh, in the postman and one more thing uh, as I, as you see here as soon as i write and uh, the postman automatically change the or updates the query params and uh, if you come here and if you write I, a let's suppose i want to give another author name as uh, right so and i will write that and whatever i write here it will get out automatically appended appended over here as well okay so this is a very good uh, feature of the postman you can do it manually from here and you can add that manually in the url as well okay and one more feature is there uh, if you want to specify wh what is what is the use of this query parameters isbn then in that case you you can also give the description to this query parameter whatever you want uh, as this is for the documentation purposes and so that you can understand when next time you can came here and you can understand yeah so isbn is used for this this part okay so don't worry description is not sent to, over the network description stays here inside the postman just to understand oh, oh, what that query parameter is doing inside the url for that purpose you can write the description as well here okay so these this is how these are the query parameters uh, in postman and you uh, url you can just go head over to this url and see the bookstore api and try to understand uh, the different get post delete methods from here you can try try it as well by your own and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one